Hi, I'm Marty Barola, and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Tony. He asks, what is CocoaPods? In short, CocoaPods is a dependency manager for Swift and Objective-C projects. A dependency manager is a tool that allows you to import specific versions of external software libraries into your project. With CocoaPods, a software library is known as a pod. CocoaPods is similar to NuGet with .NET and Maven with Android. Carthage is another dependency manager available for Swift and Objective-C. However, it is not as popular as CocoaPods. Once CocoaPods is installed on your computer, you can easily convert your existing project to use CocoaPods by running a couple of commands. Importing a pod into your project is as simple as specifying the name of the pod and the version you want in a text file called the pod file. Acquiring the actual code for the pod is as simple as running pod install in a terminal window. And that's it. Once you have the pod on your computer, you're ready to start using it with your project. There are many great pods that you can easily import into your project, and most of them are completely free. Tweaks is a pod created by Facebook that makes it easy to adjust the settings while developing your app. AF Networking is a popular pod that simplifies network calls. Flurry is a pod that allows you to add analytics for your entire app with as little as three lines of code. These pods and many more are hosted on the main CocoaPods repository. Anybody can write a pod and add it to the main repository, but if you don't want your pod to be public, you can host it in a private GitHub repo where only you and your teammates have access to it. Imagine creating a data access layer or a business logic layer as your private pod and sharing it with your teammates. There are a lot of great pods being made by individuals and organizations that are passionate about creating great software. Getting these pods into your project is incredibly beneficial and super easy with CocoaPods, so definitely check it out. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions with hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments.